up and I flex, yeah. I got your girl up on my neck, yeah. And she say I'm up next, yeah. And she say that I'm the man. Yeah. Going to the top, yeah, they gon' count me out. All this money coming in, yeah. That's my main. Today's video, it is 2.24. I have a makeup appointment coming at 2.30. So I just wanted to show you guys my setup for today. She will be here super duper soon. Um, I just finished uploading my I was scammed by Apple video. So if you guys go watch that, I still am gonna vlog for today. Oh, and I need to I need to wash my beauty blenders before she gets here. So let me do that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it looks when you do a freelance job at your house. Okay, bye guys. This grape is, I don't know how to like show you like this, look at the size of this grape. Like that is so big, right? Or am I tripping? Let me show you the normal, like a normal grape. Actually, all these grapes are pretty big, but, okay, no, this is like a normal grape, okay, regular grape, and then this is the ginorm grape. Look at the difference. <laughs> That's grape so big. I want to eat it. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Thursday, and we are in the very, about the middle of November, you guys which is so amazing to me. Like time is just going back so fast. It's going by so quickly. I'm like, I actually, I'm not a fan of it. I actually hate the idea how fast time goes by. Okay, so I just wanted to put my eye drops in. My eyes were extremely dry. You guys, I get this little baby eye drop. It's called Pure Eyes. I'm pretty sure it's nothing special. I'm pretty sure it's just sterile water. But um, I really like this. I get this from Dollar Tree. It's extremely small. So it's not, you know, you don't get a lot of product. But I love it a lot. It's a really good um, product. As far as like helps with redness or dry eyes. Sorry guys, I have my mirror set up here. So I'm trying to keep it here. That way I don't have to hold a mirror when I do my eyeshadow. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already done my eyebrows, right? And I've already put on my primer. I've already outlined my eyebrows, all that jazz. So now we'll just get started with some eyeshadow. I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I'll figure it out. So I'm just going to get a fluffier brush like this so I could do the eyeshadow part. Okay. So anyway, so how have you guys been? I just wanted to thank you guys so much for the nice messages you all left me about me getting scammed. You guys made me feel so much better about it. I was really like down and mad at myself for falling for such a stupid such a stupid scam right but you guys made me feel like it's not that bad you know good thing you caught it in time and you guys said that you may have fought you could have fallen for it easily too so I just want to thank you guys so much for leaving me such kind messages because that really made me feel better because I was really down on myself it sucks though because today I got paid and like over $200 because all the fees came out because obviously they charge you fees when you overdraft. So each time it was overdraft, it was a $34 fee. So I had about, um, I want to say a, a little bit over a hundred dollars in fees and that is not good. That was horrible. So really almost like two something came out altogether. So it was a lot more than 158 but hopefully the bank will take care of it as quickly as possible and all of it will get situated because um, right now I just feel like, oh my gosh, like this is terrible. I think I'm going to try calling them tomorrow. They told me to try calling back on Friday to see like where everything's at with it. So I'm going to do that and see if anything's moved along. I don't know. I doubt it though. I mean, that seems so early to call back on Friday already, but they said, they told me to, so I don't know. Anyway, so I made myself a smoothie. Mm. Um, I made myself a smoothie. 
So I'm going to use that kind of like a meal replacement today. Um, I'm going to take my palette here and I think I'm going to use maybe this red color. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that in the outer edge of the eye. So like I said, I brought my, oh, my smoothie. So I made that. I'm going to use that as a meal replacement. And yeah, hopefully that will tie me over. And hopefully that can tie me over until uh, later, like dinner later. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm just like blending out back here. This brush is like a really cheap brush. Like it just looks like this. Like it has like stones in there. Can you guys see it okay? It has like stones. Like you can even hear it. Anyway, I really like it to keep on hand to uh, blend out. See, so like if I use this brush and the blending doesn't look as good, like the blending could look harsh. If you use a bigger, uh, flatter brush, you could uh, blend it out a little bit better. Do you, does that make sense? And it just looks not as harsh or anything like that. So this is a nice brush to keep on hand. Okay, you guys, so tomorrow I have a makeup appointment at five, five o'clock in the morning. So I met this really cool lady one day at work and uh, we just hit it off. She was just really cool. She was going on a date and I ended up doing her makeup and um, yeah, we just had a really good time. Like we clicked. So she asked me if I ever do makeup on the side. Oh, by the way, I'm using this cranberry reddish color back here on the outer edge. I'm actually not doing any type of blending. I'm just putting it down and then I can blend it out after. So right now I'm just placing the color like this on the lid and then we'll blend it out in just a few. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, I met this really cool lady a while back and um, yeah, we just hit it off. She asked me if I did freelance work. I told her absolutely. Um, so then she got a hold of me and asked me if I would be able to do her makeup on, on Friday. She wanted to come later, like around 7, but I, 7.30. But I told her I couldn't do it that early because that is like literally the exact time I'm getting the boys ready for school. So I wouldn't be able to. And then she says, well, can you do it earlier? Is it possible that maybe you could do it? <clears throat> excuse me. Is it possible that maybe you could do it um, like around 5? And I was like, um sure i mean yeah if you want to come that early i could do it so she's gonna come to my house so i will definitely vlog with you guys and show you i'll show you my um freelance area so i can um i'll have everything set up before she gets here and she sent me a really pretty picture of how she wants her makeup and it's really like simple it's basically i'll i'll insert it this is the picture that she sent me so as you guys can see, it's just really, really simple. It's not too hard of a look. So I'm not worried about that. I could get that done really quick. <clears throat> Hopefully in like 45 minutes. But anyway, so yeah. So I got to wake up super duper early tomorrow, you guys. And like do a I makeup. said, I've been getting more and more freelance jobs. And I'm not going to turn down money. Because that's how you block your blessings. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're constantly turning down like freelance jobs or turning down work or, or turning down things, things you can do to help somebody else, right? If you do that, if you're like, I can't do it, I'm busy. Or if you turn it down, like you make up a lie why you can't do it or you're blocking blessings. And what that, what that means to me is the blessing starts, they stop coming to you. Why? Because every time they come, you turn them away. And I pray to God that he helps us get like more financially, um, just basically to have more money, to be more financially um, rich, I guess. I don't know another way to say it. I don't, I'm not saying, I guess stable. I don't know. Um, and lately, God has been sending t lots of work my way, lots of freelance jobs, and I'm not going to block those blessings. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, when I first heard that, I was like, oh my God, that makes all the sense in the world. Like, I love that. I love that because it's so, so like true. So thank you. I heard that saying a long time, like don't block, a long time ago. <clears throat> and the saying was, don't block your blessings. And I believe that a thousand, look what I did. I just marked myself with a dirty brush. The brush looked clean and it wasn't. Um, so 
so I heard that a very long time ago. Don't block your blessings. And and also Nathan. Nathan has always told me, like, don't turn down work, you know? Especially, like, freelance work. Because that's awesome. If somebody asks you to do their makeup on the side, like, that's great, you know? That shows that you're good at what you do and people want you outside of your job, you know? So... Nathan's always told me that too. Like, don't turn down work. Like, he's like, I would never turn down work ever because there could be a time when work isn't available. So don't block your blessings. And I want to preach that to you guys too because it's, it's so I'm gonna so be here. I'm gonna be here for her, and I'm gonna do the makeup. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that because it's great. Okay, so I think now what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'll add some shimmer to the well. I don't know. Maybe I'll deepen it up. I'll come right back. I wanted just to share with you. I'm here at work. We don't sell this in our store. It's an advent calendar. It comes in a box like this. My boss actually bought these from Dillard's, but yeah, she brought them in. I just wanted to show you guys. So it looks like this, which is this beautiful star box. And this is how it looks. Let me move back so you guys can ooh, see it better. But it's this really cool star. And then when you open it up, you get to choose a prize until you get to the 24th, which is obviously uh, Christmas Eve. But every day you get to pick out a beautiful um, gift. So you might get a lipstick or you might get a lip primer. Or actually, I'm not really sure what is totally inside these things, but it's really cute, right? Really, really cute. So at Dillard's, this thing runs for $195. So it's not, ex oops, sorry guys. I'm just trying to fix this here so you can see it better. Okay, so it's not exactly cheap, but it's a really beautiful set. And yeah, $195, you could get these at Dillard's. All right, I just wanted to share that with okay, you. Okay guys, so this is actually my 5 a.m. freelance job. This girl was super duper sweet. Her name's KT and we did beautiful makeup on her, very natural. Her hairdresser actually came to my house also, so we were able to doll her up and get her all ready for her beautiful day. So if you're watching this, KT, congratulations and thank you so much for letting me do your makeup. You were so sweet. Okay, bye guys. Like how um, AJ just said that he threw up. So I need to go pick up my son because I'm not going to leave him at school if he just threw up. But yeah, God, I'm tired, you guys. I've been up since 4 a.m. I just fell back to sleep maybe about an hour ago and then they called me. But that doesn't matter. That's neither here nor there because now I need to go get my son and then I'm going to have to start getting ready for work in a few minutes. So yeah, let's head over to the school and do that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm just walking in to go pick up my little Schuber Dubers and make sure that nothing is showing the name of the school here or anything like that. But yeah, I'm just going to go into the office and go get him he's just not feeling well and i'm certainly not going to leave him at school while he's sick you know what i mean jelly bean okay so here i go hi you guys welcome back to today's video whoa look at my eyes i'm so white why Pero, why this looks crazy you guys i guess i'm so white like this because um whoa Okay, I came back with not so white under my eyes. I had to fix it because I looked like a freaking god, like from the 1960s or a fucking reversed raccoon, you guys. I looked ridiculous. Or I looked like I was like Twiggy from the 1960s with like dark or white under eyes. Anywho, let's get it together. Let's start getting ready for work. I did a video yesterday. I just didn't post it. Why? I don't know, you guys. I worked on a video. I got lots of good footage and, well, you guys will probably see that before. Ooh, this video is going to be all over the place, girls, all over the place, but that's okay. I don't mind. As long as I um, get some footage, right, you guys? That's how I feel. So what's going on? How's everybody doing? Let me lower the TV. It's a little bit loud. For some reason, reason um, I don't know, like... 
Oh, I had to go get my son. I don't know if I put the footage in or not. I think I was gonna put the footage in. I'm not sure. Anyway, I had to go. I got a call from the school saying that my little guy, Adrian, was sick. So they asked me to go pick him up. So I did. I went and got him around 11. You guys, I had the craziest morning. You're gonna be like, what the fudge? But I've been up since four, literally four o'clock. So, um, yeah, I've been up since four because I had a makeover. I had a freelance job this morning. And you're probably wondering yeah, why I'm she had four. her hairdresser come too. So um, the hairdresser did her hair in this really beautiful updo. I'll show you a picture of the look. And um, basically, she is celebrating because um, she is getting her um, certification to be here in the United States, which I thought was really, really dope. I was really happy for her. So yeah, she's gonna be a US citizen. So that's awesome, right? So yeah, so that's, I did that this morning and I rested, I, I of course I had to wake up at four. You're probably wondering, I still didn't explain why I was up at four. I was up at four because I still had to pick up my house. I wasn't about to have uh, guests over and my house looks like a freaking, um, my house looked like a damn uh, tornado ran through it. So I had to clean my house. Sorry guys, I'm just using a really dark brown back here and I'm just setting it down. I'm not like, really blending it yet I'm just kind of pushing it there so um so anyway I had to wake up that early because I had to clean my house because you know I'm not gonna have guests over when well, my house is a trash disaster so um yeah so anyway that was it you guys I got that done and uh like I said I came home and I rested for a very little while and then I got the phone call to go pick up Adrian that he was ill so I went to go get him came home started getting ready for work and I thought I would film for you guys a little a little chit chat with me okay so you guys I found a new youtuber that I have been watching religiously it's actually two youtubers now they might not be some of your guys taste although they may be some of your guys taste um I don't know. I feel like you guys are really, uh, anyway, um, they're called the clout chasers. Have you guys heard of these girls? They're two young women and they basically are just giving some opinions. They're giving some opinions on YouTubers. So the same YouTubers that everybody else gives their opinions on. So lives live, Chrissy, uh, and I forgot the other girl's name. I don't really watch her. Oh, Jazzy. Jazzy's life. So, uh, yeah. So, Clout Chasers. Like I said, they're not everybody's cup of tea. Um, some people are not liking their delivery. They say that they body shame, that they're colorist, like all this stuff. But I don't really find that. In my opinion, I think they're really sweet. I'm not sure if they're related. I kind of think that they might be cousins. I saw in the comments, but I don't want to like start that rumor. But anyway, I just think that they just like to have a good time. It's basically how you would speak with your girlfriend behind closed doors about people, about people's channels. And they're just basically, you know, bringing it to light. And I don't know. I could see where people would get offended by certain things, especially the whole race issue thing. But... I mean, she can say those type of things. Like, she, is, they are women of color. So I don't see the issue of them speaking on women of color when they are women of color themselves. I don't, you know, I don't see why people are getting so offended. Anyway, I think they're a riot. They're really funny. Um, their opinions are just not for everybody. The way they deliver the opinions are not for everybody. But... Um, if you guys like like a little bit of like some harsh love, uh, people that don't really have too much of a filter when they're talking about another person, you know, they're just saying whatever comes at the top of the dome. And for that, I can respect that. I don't dislike that. Um, yeah, there's things that they say that I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's going to cause some controversy. And then it does, it causes a lot of controversy. Some people get all up in their feelings and they take it really, really serious, which I can understand. If somebody was talking about me and 
you know, my husband and all that. I mean, yeah, you're going to get all up in your feelings. That's only natural. But I think that's what they're looking for. They said, make me famous, roast me, say whatever you want about me. So, you know, I think that's what they're there for. And it's kind of cool because there's two of them. So they have each other to lean on, which I really think is great. They support each other, which I think is really awesome. And um, I could see why they have the confidence to say what they say because there's two of them. You know what I mean? It's like you with your best friend and uh, kikiing and ha ha and, you know, nobody can hear you guys, but they're actually doing it on camera, which I don't mind. I think it's kind of, I think it's funny. But if you guys haven't checked them out, see what you think for yourselves. They're called the Clout Chasers and they are here on YouTube. And it is two women, and I personally think they're a riot. If you go on a lot of their newer videos, if you look, you'll probably notice that I comment on a lot of their videos because I don't want to get on their bad side and then do a uh, roast on me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but on their real though, I just think, I think they're a who. I think they're really funny. I think they're just trying to have a good time. Um, I take a lot of their stuff the way that they speak on things like religion and things like that. I agree with it. Um, and I don't know. I think that they're just, a, they're just a good time. If you guys want a good time, go on clout chasers channel and peep them out. And then let me know what you guys think after you do it. Okay. Are there any um, YouTubers that you all love to watch? Cause last time I asked that, you guys, some of you guys gave me a really nice list of YouTubers that I did start watching. I know the Martis family, Annette, gave me um, Kira's channel. And um, I will put the name of all her stuff right here. I think it's like Kira's Life or I don't know, something like that. But I'll put the correct thing right here. I watch her channel all the time now. And I was given that channel name by Annette. So for that, I'm grateful. And a lot of you guys have put in a couple of different names, like the a and family. Uh, somebody had recommended them to me. So I started watching them. Um, so yeah, so let me know if you guys have any channels that you really love to watch. And um, I will definitely check them out and I will let them know that you sent me. Okay, you guys, I think I need to do something fun to the side. I don't know what yet, but something fun. Let's see. So I have the Saharan palette. I don't know. Is there anything my cute directions in for my email? But I'm like, wait, what's going on? Like, are we allowed to show our children? Are we not? I don't get it. What's the deal? I'm kind of taking it as we're not allowed to show the kiddos. What do you guys take it as? Okay guys, so I wanted to come back and show you guys what happened. So I ended up doing my makeup like this, and then I'm just wearing this, just a pair of high-waisted jeans. I'm wearing this cute top. It has some gathering here. Let me move back so you guys could see the outfit better. Yes, that's what I'm wearing. Okay, you guys, I'm on my way to work. I will talk to you guys in a few. Bye guys.